Howdy guys, today let's take a look at this beautiful distro Deepin Linux. Now Deepin Linux is a Chinese distro and has in the past been accused of containing spyware. A few versions back, Deepin was found to be sending information back to servers in China. So I'm in fact installing this on a VM. I have however heard it's a beautiful distro and I'm expecting good things. The welcome screen has options for layout and appearance. Clearly that's going to be a focus. I'm using the low effect mode as the alternative felt a bit sluggish the first time I used it. The personalization options Deepin comes with are extensive. It feels sort of Windows-esque, if Windows was built with a Linux level of customization in mind. These folder icons actually have donuts in them. The icons look very cutesy and not at all like Adwaita and the usual suspects. I'm actually sort of surprised by how good things look. They've also taken a very different approach to how some UI elements work, like these notification icon settings. Normally you would right click on the title bar to set them up. It feels different to KDE and GNOME, but in a good way. I don't think I've ever seen a desktop environment. That lets you choose the curvature of the window edges before. There's a very, very nice set of wallpapers that come with Deepin. And again, a very different UI approach to switching it. The rest of the control panel is also very clear and easy to use. It has a lot of the functions you would expect from a mature distribution. It feels like it will be a great Windows replacement if you are looking to make the switch. Of course, the spyware issue is a problem, but you could install the deep in desktop environment on top of another distro like Ubuntu or Fedora. And of course, there are a few localization issues like this notification, even though I picked English as my language at the start. From what I've found, it's actually the App Store that had the suspected spyware, so I will not be installing anything. You can, however, see the usual FOSS applications as well as quite a few localized apps that I've not heard of. But even here, their quality of execution is very high. There's probably a few things that KDE and GNOME can learn from Deepin.
I really like how they've built the Start or Application menu. By default, it looks like a standard pop-up menu with good categorization and favorites. But then you can expand it and with a click of a button, make it work more like the full screen app drawer on a Mac. And it remembers your preference. So great job, Deepin. There's also a clipboard manager feature, which lets you keep multiple copied items in your clipboard. That's something I would definitely find useful for my daily driver. There's a lot to love about Deepin, and I would love to recommend it fully, but given what we've heard about Deepin, that's difficult. Even if it's only connecting to servers in China for purely commercial purposes. That in itself goes against the spirit of free and open source software. Which is a shame because in some ways, it feels miles ahead of other Linux desktop environments. Oh well, guess you can't have everything. Also, Deepin comes with an AI assistant built in. Depending on where you sit with AI, this is either a good or bad thing. For me, it's a bit of a bore. Until next time, guys.